San Miguel. Welcome to Jump Into Monday with me, Mrs. Jones, your very, very proud principal. Guys, look at all of this that we've collected already for the St. John of the Cross food drive. This is incredible. Our first week, we had a whopping 678 items donated. This last week, we had 1,311. If you're not doing the math, let me tell you that total for just two weeks of our food drive, we have 1,989 items total. This is incredible, you guys. This is a wonderful example of being proactive, which is our habit of the week this week. Habit number one, be proactive. You are in charge of yourself and the choices that you make. And this is a wonderful choice, this wonderful service learning opportunity. Another choice that I think about when I think about someone who's being proactive is Issa in Miss Buell's class. Miss Buell's class has a service learning project they work on all the time where they collect water bottles and cash them in for items for their classroom. Issa was proactive and went, took it upon herself to make a giant box for those water bottles so that they can keep them organized. Thanks, Issa, for being proactive. Let me know how you practice this very, very important habit. Obviously, our food drive is still going on, so keep bringing those items in. You got till the end of the month for a zone-free recess. Can't wait to see what you guys put together by the end of this month. Also, Wednesday is character day. What a fun spirit day this is gonna be. It's all about dressing up like your favorite character from a book, a movie, a TV show. I've got some ideas in mind, but I can't wait to hear, hear about and see your spirit day on Wednesday for character day. Thank you, Leadership Club and Culture Club and Academic Club for keeping us all on track. Our Student Lighthouse team is amazing. Um, also, guys, some big rocks coming up. This week, report cards will go home. So adults at home, look for those with your students Thursday or Friday. If they're not here for some reason, they'll come home in the mail. So keep an eye out for that. And if you have questions, ask your child's teacher. And a big rock that we all have coming up is state testing. State testing for kiddos in third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade is coming up. Um, different ones for different grade levels. And then all of our kiddos by the end of the year will have another iReady diagnostic. So think about how you are going to be proactive when it comes to testing time. That means getting good sleep, eating good food, coming in ready to learn, ready to focus. If you know that you need help in terms of an accommodation or a support during testing, then talking to your teachers. But think about how you will practice being proactive when it comes to testing time. Teachers, reach into your buckets or your drawers or your tubs, pull out some leader lotto tickets, and then friends, head up to the office for your free homework pass or your free hoodie for a day pass. Guys, I'm just gonna keep saying it because I just really, really mean it. Let me know if you need anything because we're always here to help. Bye! Just kidding. One more thing. Today, Monday, March 14th, two years from the day that we had to close our school buildings, we are no longer required to have students and staff wear masks while indoors. Now, while this is a celebration for some, this might be a harder transition for others. So I want to make sure that you all are practicing that proactive leadership and being kind and considerate to all of our friends who may still choose to wear a mask while inside. I mean, last week I saw kids on the blacktop wearing masks, even though they don't have to. It's a personal preference and we all are going to be accepting and understanding of whatever choice people are making, whether it's your teacher or your friends. So again, you don't have to wear them indoors anymore, but if you choose to, that's all good too. Okay, now for real. Bye.